Day Night Live and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank y'all for hanging in there and waiting on me um, to get back to the lives. <laughs> we have exciting news. Miss Katie's hubby got his kidney transplant and I'm just beyond excited about that. And I just want you to know, Miss Katie, we're all here loving and rooting for you. So I'm back. It's Monday night, the 8th, I believe, of August 2022. If you guys are wondering why I say that, it's for <laughs> future use, you know, when people come to watch the replays. And if you are here in the future watching a replay, come over to Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques on Facebook and join us for lives on Friday nights as well. We also have some fun uh, challenges during the week. We have a sticker challenge and then we have a, a daily challenge that you can participate in. All right, so today is uh, National International Cat Day. How cool is that? So I fell in love with this tattoo. This is actually a tattoo on someone's arm. And... Um, so I painted it to see if I could do it, and I think I figured out a pretty easy way to share with you guys to do uh, this galaxy. Of course, I didn't do it as beautiful as the original, but I think I did okay. I'm not, I'm not too, you know, disappointed with it. <laughs> Let's see who's on. We have, hi Betty, thanks for checking in early. And Jen, hey Jen, thank you so much. Jen is a moderator for the group. Thanks for coming, Jen. Hi, Anna and Jan and Heather and Allison, Chris and Luz and Karen. Hello, everyone. Thanks. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, let's get this party started. So all I did was I found a silhouette that I liked and I actually was able to find this exact one. And I did post it in the event in the group um, in the silhouette section. And if you're wondering what that is at Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques, um, I always make an event for when I go live. So you can we can talk back and forth there if you have questions or want to post ideas or your finished artwork. You post it there um, for future um reference you know if you wanted to go back and find it you could find it there anyways this the silhouette and this um, photograph is over there for you to use for inspiration so here's what I did I printed this out and then I reduced it by 50% and that's the size we have here I'm sorry I printed out <laughs> both of them I did the same way and they just happen to be so crazy the exact same size which is weird because this one's a tattoo I don't even know how it happened but I got lucky um so I took the silhouette reduced it to 50 percent and then I also um which I didn't need to do but um you can just do it with one actually just do it with this one reduce it to 50 percent and then cut out like a puzzle these pieces of the galaxy here so you can see let me grab this. You can see here what I'm talking about. So I sort of just cut out these sections. So I have this section here, which is like the ear and the eye. See this piece right here? So I cut that out. And then I cut out this piece right here under the jaw and the neck area. So this is the jaw and the neck. I'm just going to transfer these over here so you can kind of see them. So that's like, <clears throat> like that. And then a large piece. So it's a puzzle pretty much. <laughs> it goes there. This piece goes here. And this piece goes here. So when they all come together, it's very helpful for blending your galaxy. And this is the cheat that I think is going to work quite nicely. And I'm pretty sure the tattoo, it's to mimic airbrush. I don't know how they make it look so perfect without an airbrush. But 
anyway, so that's uh, what we're going to use for our stencil. And that's how I did that. So this is carbon graphite paper. If you're not familiar with that, it's a sheet of uh, paper that you can trace on and it will transfer the image to your rock. And that's exactly what I did here. So I'm going to put these pieces over here and then show you how to do this. And then, um, you know, if we have time, I may do another one. Because I really think I want to do foil. There was another example and I didn't get it printed. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, my goodness. This one here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> so I have, you know, some different foils that I think would be beautiful. You know, to make a kitty like that. Just some different ideas. And then also, if you don't feel like you want to galaxy it and you are a foiler... There's a bunch of options for Galaxy Kitty. You know, you could just pop that in there. And if you're wondering what that would be like, you can just, you know, imagine. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen and Katie. Hi, Katie. Okay. And here's like, you know, a real Galaxy. <laughs> Not a real one, but... Oh, I like this Galaxy, too. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so tempting just to pop that in there and... <laughs> But then it's all done and we didn't get to blend or anything. So, And then this is in our tie-dye set, which is our hippie tie-dye, which I think is totally cool. They have lots of different pieces you could use for Galaxy. And they have some cute things on them, like some have butterflies, some have flowers, and butterflies and hearts. <laughs> Hi, Lori! Lori is a moderator in the comments. Thanks, Lori. And this is our neon tie-dye. I think the strip is called neon tie-dye. And then it's not in the set. It's sold separate, this one here. And then this special one I think is so beautiful. It would just make a beautiful base for the kitty. Wouldn't that be pretty? I just think it'd be gorgeous. Anyways, that is in our shamrock pack. So if you ever wanted a single strip of foil, you can request that and I can make you a custom link if it's not available singly. Um, how you request a um, custom link on Etsy is you would go to the shop, find any listing that you like, send me a message, just say, hey, can you make me... A special link for it'd be better if you went to the listing where you want the link from but if you don't know where it is or if I don't have it in there um, just say hey can you make me a special listing for and then what it is you're looking for then I can create you a link Etsy doesn't like us to hard sell I guess I don't know so we're not allowed to create a custom link we're not allowed to originate it so we have to do it on a message from you guys Anyways, that's out of the way. Let's get to this kitty cat. Let's see. What are you guys up to in the comments here? Hi, Gail. Hello. Hi, Teresa. You know, I don't know what's going on. Like the time zone. Sorry about my dirty floor. My paper towels. <laughs> it looks like toilet paper. <laughs> I swear it's a paper towel roll. Anyways, um, yeah, the time zones are all wacky. Like, I, in my living room, my TV says the prompt on there, you know, upcoming live. It says started, you know, an hour ago. It said starts in one hour, but it also says starts at 12.30 a.m. August 9th. <laughs> so, it's, it's so confused. I don't know why. In my, in my office, in the art room, it says the correct information and the correct time. So, I don't know what's up with that. It looks like I have comments rolling in. I just don't, um, my video's not working here. Let me try to come back in. See if it'll come on. Okay, so how I did this, you guys, was so super simple. So, these are the neon shots. They do not have shimmer in them. So, I'm trying not to call them shimmer shots, but there is a good chance that I might call them shimmer shots by mistake 
they do not have shimmer. I may in the future add shimmer neons to the line of the new shots, but I have this handy new tool here. <laughs> Thank you, Lori and Katie. It's an early birthday present. Oh my gosh, it's a shaker and it shakes and stuff very quickly. And this is available in my Amazon storefront. So if you guys didn't hear about that, I forgot to put the link up there. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Wow, how about that? <laughs> I will add it, I promise. Anyways, there is one link now. You can go to my Amazon storefront and see all of the things that I use. Me and Katie and even Lori and Jen um, will be adding their favorites soon. So we're going to have a bunch of things in there that we use for you guys um, to go and check out. I do earn a commission, so if you click on a link in there, um, just know that it could um, result in me getting a little bit of a commission. Hi, Allison. Hi, Shay. Yay, Chris, I saw that. Oh, no, you got to go make dinner. Well, happy dinner. This will be here for you later. <laughs> okay, so in our kitty kitty, try not to lose my puzzle. Um, we have some different colors here, so I'm going to do those base colors first. Let's see if I can pan out a bit. So I'm going to put on, oops, this is, of course, I mess up right out the gate. These are very pigmented, so it could stain. If so, you can scrape it off with our handy dandy micro blade scraping tool. Or, if you're quick enough, you can just get it off. These are water-based. The shimmer shots, these are the neon shots. The shimmer shots are water-based too, but they are a dye ink pigment blend. So, they stain a lot more than these do. Anyways, uh, these little micro-blending brushes are amazing for blending these um, on rocks. I did use black on this one, so I'm trying to clean it out or I'll grab another brush in a minute. You don't want to go from black to a light color because it will bleed, you know, bleed the black out of your brush. So you want to make sure it's really dry and really clean when you're trying to blend. Okay. So... You basically just move the color around. And we're not looking for any specific um, pattern color or anything like that. Just get in the ballpark of this. And it doesn't matter how far up you go or down because we're going to add black over it. So. <laughs> Lovely. I'm going to add some of this pink in there. That was the magenta. And this is pink. And then it comes down around here. These brushes are in the shop in my Etsy. Um... They're blender brushes or foil burnishing brushes. They come in a black set. I have them in colors and then short white ones that um, are fun for travel if you're going around, you know, moving around. These little guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking that's probably good for those colors. And I'm going to just wipe that off there. And then out here I'm going to do, this is the neon blue. And this is actually going to make our lighter color of the blue in here.
And when you mix the neon and the pink together, it makes this pretty purple color. So. Like I said, I'm not being particular here, just getting the color down. Then I'm going to take the smaller brush with um, some of the pink, just a little bit. Actually, I think I'm going to use this brush. Just blend that down there. Hi, Jan. Sorry. Let's see. So the neon shots, I apologize. Um, they're a new paint that I'm making and they're a liquid um, watercolor. So they're like ready to go. The gouaches are super duper concentrated. So usually you would want to thin those out or um, a, add them to a pan and let them dry to become watercolors okay so these are just kind of ready to go out of the bottle um you can still thin them down but they act more like uh watery watercolors when you thin them down so which is beautiful too i love that look um so they need a little bit of shaking not a lot the shimmer shots are similar but they have uh, glitter in them. They are not neon and they need a little bit more shaking but these have really really beautiful glitter in them. Hopefully that was helpful. They are watercolor so there's and they are um, a similar formula to what I already make just thinner and uh, sort of a gel like they have a gel kind of base. Wow, it's a, like a bright... I'm looking on my TV and this looks so dim compared to what it is. Crazy. Let me see if I can change the lighting. You guys see this okay? Okay, so for the puzzle pieces <laughs> and how we're going to use those, I'm going to use this big one first. Mm -hmm. Pretty much like that. I'm going to grab a little piece of tape here. And just kind of secure it so it doesn't move around too much. Then I'll hold it with my finger here. So I missed the line on the back of the neck here, but I will try to stay in, let's see, oh yeah, that's out of lead, keep forgetting to refill it, okay, I'm going to make kitties off just a bit, but that's okay, it's totally okay, so I'm going to use some stays on black ink, this is not a uh, watercolor, it's pretty much an archival black, but I don't have a regular black or a watercolor black ink pad. So, anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is see these sharp edges here. I'm going to use this like a stencil.
You can absolutely do this with gouache. Yep. Yes. Absolutely. You could do it with gouache, ink pads. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use a different ink pad, some uh, Catherine Pooler, in a minute. Yeah, it doesn't have to be with my paint. It can be with whatever you have. You could do it with acrylic even. Just dry. The idea is you want your brush dry. So I'm going, I'm starting kind of on my paper and then pulling into the kitty so that we don't get like a dark, 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 dark black line, which we, we, we do want, but I just want to show you guys how you make that like look there, but I am going to go in and color most of this dark. So I'm going to. <clears throat> Pardon me. And when you're using the ink pads, it's better to dab, dab, dab. Not go back and forth, but dab, dab, dab. And we're going to go back in a bit with a brush and some ink and get real dark in the edges and do some lining. So don't worry about that at the moment. Okay, and then I'm going to take off big this big piece here without tearing it. And apply, oh, whoops, before I do that, I want it to figure out where my next piece is going. So that's this piece. Goes right here. <clears throat> you see how this is puzzle like? <laughs> yes, distress ink is great too. Yep. I actually was going to use distress ink, but I just wanted a bit brighter. So I'm going to see this area here, how it's dark around there. So I'm going to put in that gray right here. And then get dark. And this is pretty dark all the way around here. The brush, these are uh, the soft blending brushes I have in the store. They're for ink blending and foil burnishing. And they're under the tools section. They come in a pack of three with the black ones or three with the... There's different colors. I have the purple here. Um, but there's, I think, I don't know if I have them all in stock, but there's like three or four different colors. And then I have them in black. And then one small little white one that I sell separately. And this is better for foil burnishing than it is ink blending unless you're working on a big project. But they all blend ink and burnish foil. So if you're working on little tiny foil spots, these brushes are absolutely amazing for that.
Right, let's see. This comes all the way out here. And that's in my Etsy. Okay, I'm going to grab this middle piece now. Get this one out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. And I'm going to add this one up here back. Uh, Back to the store and what I didn't do that I know now that I should have is I didn't save the original cutout so and I didn't have time to redo it so later we'll be being very careful around the edge of the kitty in here around here and stuff because I don't have the um, negative I did silly me anyway so we're gonna um, oops I did that wrong again okay we're going to put this piece in here. I just needed to line it up. All right, so this piece is going down. It's what's happening. <laughs> All right. And we're going to do the same thing, but lightly here. And I'm just kind of darkening it where it's dark up in here. And I'll be going in with some Catherine Puller drive-in color also to blend the blue and the black together. But we need some black here. See, if you start on the paper, it gives you that nice, foggy, smoked, smoky look rather than a, nice, a hard line, you know. And that's sort of what's going on here. It's not a hard, hard line like it is here. You can see that. And then this down here is pretty dark. Oops. And of course I went outside. That's okay. We'll make a thicker. <laughs> Get what I'm doing down there, right? We'll make a um, thicker base down there. And we're just adding our dark to our kitty tail. Okay, so we kind of got our shading in there. I'm just going to rub that off in there. And get the Catherine Puller. First, I'm going to recover this. When you guys buy new ink pads, keep the little inserts because it keeps your pad um, moist on your big ones. I don't think Catherine Puller's has, yeah, they don't have the, the stuff on the inside. 
Okay, let's see. So here we're going to use the bigger one for this pretty drive-in. It's like a ultramarine color. What is a cat cafe? <laughs> I must have missed some talking here. Thank you so much, Lori. Yeah, um, sorry, I'm usually better about putting the a couple of links in the description, but I didn't catch it tonight. My bad. But they will be added after the show. So you have to wait. No. <laughs> All right. So this is the Catherine Pooler Drive-In color. I believe this is part of her party collection. And I believe you can get Catherine Puller on scrapbook.com. Mm -hmm. oh, Life of the Party in the Party Collection. So I'm going to start in here. And I'm also going to bring this up in this area because mm -hmm. there's some of this color kind of invading this part of our kitty too. Move back to my smaller brush. And my kitty's not identical, obviously. I'm not that good. <laughs> but I will do my very best. I hope you guys can see this okay. Let me know if you need me to bring the camera back down. So you can see how we're getting that soft blending here. Right, I'm going to start at this edge and bring it out this way. Soften up these edges. Mm -hmm. Hi, Della. Or, I'm sorry, Della. I just said Della. Hello, Delia. So we're going to work our way around now and uh, darken up the deep blue areas. See, so this is keeping that nice bright edge here that we're going to want. We will go in and deepen up that middle part. Hi, Deborah. Shay, Phyllis, hello. All right. I'm going to start working in here, minding these lighter areas up in here. Mm 
I'm going to move back to my bigger one. Okay, I'm going back to the black brush so that I can blend these really dark areas and take advantage of that black that might still be in my brush. See how that's looking? Yeah, looks good. Oh, we got spam already. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I see it. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, they must think we're some kind of people, huh? <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. They do like to catch the lives. And see, if I was all by myself, I wouldn't be able to do nothing about it. So, thank you, thank you, Lori and Jen. Thank you so much. Doing some blending in here, and then I'm going to come up in this part of the tail and add some blue, purple. Okay. Now I'm going to take this off and add some of the blue back in here. So we have some coming off of here. Oh, sorry, Lori. Thank you. And I'm just blending back out kind of in the middle of these areas and then we're going to go back and add some details with white and black and and la 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 I think we're good here pretty cool huh guys all right so firstly <laughs> let me find the ink where to put it there it is I think I'm just going to drop some of this right here. This is uh, De La Rowney. In black. And it's acrylic ink. Actually, I think I want... trying to find it I the brushes that are in stock now are the mermaid tail 
the glitter. Uh, <laughs> I can't find it in my cup. It's the ones with the glitter in the handles. These, these guys. And then there's a new glitter base handle. It's um acrylic handle with glitter encapsulated. So it's not like a shakeable glitter. But And there's another one too. I can't remember. Anyways, all the brushes are the same. The handles are different. The brushes come with, um, I believe it's 6, 9, and 11 millimeter lengths. And I do have the, oh, the blades back in stock. And very soon we should have some more of the picker tools. They're going to be um, a different color, but the, the other ones are back. They're on their way. So it's taking a little bit longer to get in there. Right, I gotta grab my little blender here. And those uh, micro blade tools are amazing for getting rid of these boo-boos. So, if you're wondering, mainly what I use those for is that. So I'm just blending out that hard line from the archival ink. Oh, Deborah, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope they're okay. I'm using gravity. <laughs> to my favor. You see how I turn my rock and then go with, I'm very right handed. And then I use my downward um, motions to help me do straight lines. And then I'm always, always, always have yourself anchored somehow. You put down your pinky or a thumb or see how my other hand is anchored as well. So you're always touching somewhere so your hand isn't just wobbling out here. And that really helps with uh, lining. I know a lot of you have asked um, how I do lining and I'm not that great at it but this is how I maintain a, some semblance of control see the bottom of my hand is anchored and then I can come out here and do my lines I'm going to turn my rock over so I can come down. I'm better going down than I am going up. So 
know what works best for you and then go with that. Make sure you rinse your brushes when you're working with inks. All brushes need to be rinsed, but watercolor, you know, you have, if they dry, you can usually rinse it right out. But inks, um, you know. Also, my brushes do, mm -hmm. they separate, like, can you see this? They do that, but they go right back together when you get them wet. So, when you get them wet, if you will form them into a nice point, always keep your covers. Put the cover back on and then pop it in your however you keep it usually flat in a drawer is best but don't don't mind me i keep my stuff in you know coffee cups Okay, so let's see. Now we're going to use uh, the white pen and do some more details. And we can get the stars. And if you don't want them so bold, you can just tap your finger on top of them and it sort of blends them out a bit thank you <gasps> oh there's another one I just saw it pop up and another one sorry guys wow that's three in a row that's awful <sighs> just ignore them You can't get the covers back on the brushes. Is that what you mean? These, these covers. So that's another thing with anchoring. Don't try to come at them like this. So, you know, touch your finger down if you have trouble with that. Or even touch the brush to something. Touch your finger to the brush. And then you have control of this lid. Then you can put it down exactly where you want it. And you don't have to touch the bristles. Okay, so I'm going to take this white pen available in my store. You can get these separately or in a set with the gold and silver. And I'm going to outline this inner edge here. And then I'm going to take my blending brush and pull and blend out that hard line. There. So we're basically highlighting. Thank you, Shay. So we're going to put this big star here. I'm going to start with the dot. And then add the cross. Or the X. And then blend a bit.
right, there's the star. And then we can add some of the brighter white back to the edges. And this pen is really good for that. It's a 0.3, I believe. So it's really tiny, fine lines. You can also leave little dot. If it gets weird on you, just run it on a piece of paper. You can leave little stars. And then in here, there's a little bit of of that bright light, so I'm going to blend that with the brush. And around these edges here. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the notifications. And then a lighter. So hopefully you guys got the idea about cutting your project into a puzzle and using it for a stencil. I think it's kind of fun. I'm just putting down some white and blending it out there to give it that. Oh, you guys can't see it. <laughs> this lighter area right here. Trying to get rid of this uh, hard edge there. And let's see. Change to my smaller brush. Start putting some stars back in. There's a bigger star here. And then we'll add some stars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that.
Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm going to use my whale pen. The black. These are, um, I don't know if this one has any ink in it. Actually, I think I ran it out. There. Oh, it might have enough for this. But anyways, these are the black fine line pens. And I'm going to do my edges that I missed here. Yeah, that one's toast. This one. So tools are pretty easy. You know, they make life easier, I guess. What would that be? The moral of the story? <laughs> Don't think that because it's not paint that it's not allowed or it's not used. I mean, pens, inks, paints, watercolors, whatever you need to get you there, that's what you use. Okay, so now let's clean up my boo-boos. The microblade tool. Also, if uh, I noticed some of you have noticed, there's refills now in the shop for these. This is not the clickable pin, which does have refills too. This uh, microblade tool comes in this style or a click pin. Anyways, for this one, you want to be super duper careful, okay? These, <laughs> this stuff will fall out of here and it's like glitter rocks I don't know I don't even think it's right I think it's some kind of um, resin based glitter and then you just drop the housing in there and that's the little razor part the blade and it will cut this it'll cut just let's put it that way it'll cut and it's a uh, pretty uncomfortable anyways to uh, reapply it you just put it right on the tip of the pen and then this goes over the top when you put this on hold it from the sides like so over the top and then move your finger off and then right righty tighty right down here don't get up in here because you'll cut yourself and then make sure to hang on to your cap so you can put that back on so this tool I use for sorry if I'm missing comments they're delayed so I'm <sighs> ah thanks Bex definitely you guys I could use it if you guys um will hit that like button and if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and um, also go join the group uh, creative rock art and foil techniques. Oh, when you subscribe, if you want to be notified of these events and uh, future events and, you know, when I have new uploads, uh, hit the bell. That notifies you when I'm up to something. So I'm taking that blade and I am scraping off what I don't want on here. I'm trying to get up here where you can see it. See this mark right here? So I'm going to take my tool. And I'm just going to say bye-bye. Gone. And then this purple that came out here. We're going to take it off. And this one down here. Inks are a bit more stubborn because they go a bit deeper and are staining. But it can be done on a Santorini. 
because Santorini's are soft. <clears throat> Clean that up. Even get off old rust marks pretty easily. So here's the new kitty, and here's the demo kitty. Not bad. A little bit different, but similar, right? <laughs> don't forget to sign your work um i think what do you guys do you want me to do another one not a galaxy kitty how about a foil kitty what do you think no yay <laughs> of course i'll do it i'm on no time limit okay let's do it all right, I'm going to make some room because I'm switching gears. All right, kitty, you're out of here. Let's see. For the foil kitty, I'm going to put it on a beautiful, I believe this is a 4x4, four four, or is that a 3x3? Three three? Uh, where's my... Four 4x4. Four. Okay. These are from Shelly, Stones by Shelly on Etsy. I'm looking for her card. I don't think I have her new one, but here it, oh, it is, yeah, Stones by Shelly. This is her new one. And she's on Facebook, Etsy, and Instagram. And I believe I even saw her on TikTok, maybe. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. <laughs> Anyways, let me find my... All right, guys, where'd I put it? My uh, kitty cat that I used. <laughs> Lord, I'm losing my mind. Where'd you go, kitty kitty? You know, the one I traced onto my rock. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, it won't fit on there. Okay, so we're going to not use the 4 before. 4 We... I can use this one. Perfect, right? So you guys can see the process here. It goes pretty fast. I like to use my pointy tool that I was talking about a bit ago. This is the rhinestone picker upper. It's also good for paper and other things you're working with, like sequins and paper and um, mm -hmm. glitter. Yep. So, I'm going to use the pointy end. Actually, I think I'm going to move this down. So I might want to put some words up there. Oh. Oh, yay! Okay, so... Again, I'm better at working down instead of up, so I'm going to be turning my rock and letting gravity help me out here. And I don't need, you know, a, a dark, dark line, so you don't have to press too hard unless you want a dark line, then press more. And the papers that you use are reusable hundreds of times. I'm not even kidding, a pack of paper. I've had mine for two years. I'm not even halfway through it. So um, I think they come with 100 sheets for the papers. I think those are in my shop on Amazon. If not, we'll get those added. Um, I'm pretty sure they are, though. The graphite paper, they usually come with some dotting tools, too, which are to help you transfer images. Tools are so good for so many things, right? Okay. 
All right, so there's my kitty transferred on. I'm going to use my ink for a background because it goes fast. <laughs> I'm just trying to grab the right brush here. I'll use this one. I'm just going to put some ink in here. My brush, this isn't a brush that I carry. Funny enough, this is a uh, Donna Dewberry brush. But it is got a piece on it. I'm just going to cut that off so it doesn't mess me up. I don't care for these brushes, so that's why I'm using it to spread the ink. I'm not, I don't recommend them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called a, a nail stylus. Um, they're called so many different things. The main search term that I found, and that's why I settled with it, um, they're dotting tools. And then this is a rhinestone picker. That's, it brings it up the quickest. So when you're searching for those, so we call it a rhinestone picker. But, correct, the technical term for nail technicians is stylus. I love ink. It's nice and opaque and done. <laughs> I like it in place of um, base coats a lot of times on Santorini's. It doesn't, this ink, I don't know about, I cannot say all inks. This ink doesn't bleed out into the rock, so. And I put too much on there and probably only needed two drops instead of three. So I'm just trying to blend it out here. And get in the tail area. If you mess up with the ink, you're it's forever. <laughs> Inks aren't as forgiving. Okay, I like that. I'm just going to blend this out one more time to get rid of the pools. And then we'll get the dryer. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, puddles of ink are all over my floor in here. We've given up on the carpet, and it's so bad right now. I have shred stuff everywhere and inks, and I'll bring you up so you can see this. You see, ink? <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, there's ink. I got my boot off right now, my broken foot. <laughs> ink, neon pigment. There was a big orange one over here too. Yeah, it's messy right here. This is all the things I still have to go through over there. <laughs> Well, I don't know where the dryer is, so I thought it was here. We'll put the fan on it. And for the foil, let's see. I think I want the blue and purple flowery one. What do you guys think? Do you want to do another Galaxy Kitty or a Flower Kitty? <laughs> yes <laughs> the carpet is oh so bad we're getting rid of it but it does help my feet every time I think I want to pull it up and put in the the hardwood floor or the laminate I don't know what I'm going with yet um my feet start hurting when I think about it <laughs> so I'm like it may be ugly and gross and stained but it does save my feet and my knees <laughs> Okay, so do we want flower? I like the flower ideas too. Let's see which ones we're going to go with here. Mm -hmm. Where did I put those? I love these. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. Are these the ones we're doing? Say yes. Oh, my foot. Um, <laughs> funny enough, all I did was I rolled it. <laughs> I just stepped wrong. Not off the curb, not any, just walking down the hall. I just rolled my ankle and it broke the fifth metatarsal. And I didn't know it was broken for over, it was about 10 days. I just, by the time 10 days was up, I was not doing well with it. So... I didn't think you could walk on a broken foot, so it never even occurred to me that it might be broken. And Miss Lori's like, please go get an x-ray. <laughs> so I did, and it was, and I felt like a dummy, but... <laughs> yeah, and then Friday, no well, Thursday last week, it swelled up again really bad, and I thought I re-injured it. And this time I went in, guys, I have gout in my fifth metatarsal right in the joint that I broke how do you how does that even happen how do you get gout in your broken foot so I thought I must have made somebody mad in a previous life and I'm paying you know whatever consequences that is so I'm taking it you know like whatever taking my lumps of coal and that's why I'm down now and I just got back to work so orders are late this is my first live but can't walk around on a broken foot with gout <laughs> It's not possible. I had a walker and crutches and still couldn't manage. So yeah, imagine gout and a broken foot all together. Oh, I thought I might just, you know, quit. <laughs> uh, not this. Quit walking forever. Where did I do with my other kitty? I forgot I had an idea. I don't even remember which one I just did. I think this one. Okay. I wanted to try the... Hold on. <laughs> These guys. On the Galaxy Kitty. And give it some twinkle. This is a custom made paint. So if you're interested in these holographics, let me know. And uh, it's three different pans of paint. It, this is the large flake. There's a medium and a small micro, whatever. Anyways, I just wanted to add some of this in here.
So it's not something you want to be dripping wet when you're working on top of watercolor. You just want to pull it really fast across the top. So you want to pre-wet these, let them soak so they're ready to go, and then pick up. a little bit of water, not much. Oh yeah, so you can see the hollow. See, I got too much water right here. It removes some of the paint, but oh, they're back, darn it. Sorry, go get them, girls. Oh, these people. I like that. See the hollow? <clears throat> Thank you. As members, you guys can turn them in, too. Okay, let me grab my gloves and my glue. This is just easy, so it's glue and foil pretty much. Just the whole thing, we're going to foil it. And then add some rhinestones to the centers of the flowers. Alright, this is Burano Nail Foil Glue. I believe it comes only in a set with foils. I didn't warm it up or nothing, so... Giving it a little warm here. Right. Because my kitty's bigger, I'm going to go ahead and use it from the jar, the bottle. And then around the ears and the tip of the tail, I'm going to go in with the um, disposable eyeliner brush so that I don't mess it up Sorry, I'm not looking up if I'm missing your comments. Uh, yeah, the tricks to getting the glue smooth, is that what we're talking about? Uh, you want to have a torch handy and warming up your glue in advance. And then you need to give it a little bit of time to self-level. It is a resin, so it self-levels like other resins do. I'll show you here in a moment. You can already see it's pretty much smoothing out on its own. Um, here I'm going to switch to the disposable eyeliner tool. Notice I always break it because oh, they come with like a sizing in the brush and that's hard to use in there. So I'm going to dip this in my bottle and then pull, go around these areas where the little detail is important. Uh, 
Don't worry if you go outside of your lines a little bit because we can reline. We didn't line, we just filled in. So we'll probably have some touching up to do with our black. Foil is pretty much practice. It's, um, you know, at first it's awkward and, you know, it's kind of muscle memory, I guess, a little bit, too, to manipulate the glue. Once you learn how the glue moves around and reacts to the light, you'll, you'll start having way better results because you'll know what to expect. Some things to look out for are um, using lights that are too strong on the glue on rocks. This does not apply to nails because our bodies are warm already, 98.6 degrees usually. And that warms up the glue to do its thing naturally. So um, you don't have to worry about it wrinkling and stuff like that because it's warmed up. The glue wrinkles because the rock is cold and the light isn't hot, but it causes a reaction that makes heat. So then it kind of quickly makes it really very hot. Okay, the torch is, is one of the biggest tools here in getting out the bubbles and making it, you know, glossy, smooth. So you just bring your torch over the top. It gets rid of the bubbles. You don't want to like stay in one place very long because you'll catch it on fire. It is flammable. So just quickly over the top. Okay. There's a piece of fuzz or something there, but we're using foil. So it's not as crazy important as it is. If you were using full metallic here, I'd say try to get that out. Um, but we're not. So now you're going to use your 12 LED light. There's 12 there. On your kitty, don't start too, too close. Start away a bit. And once you get the top of it cured just a bit, then you can move closer. And because, see, it's wrinkling around the ears. Ew. Darn it. Let's see what happens there. I'll show you. I was too close when I first started. Okay, I'll come out here. So see the wrinkles around the ears and the face right there? That's what happens when the glue was just, the rock's too cold and the glue's too cold. So, so I'm going to use this as a base coat and we're going to put another coat on to get rid of the wrinkles. There's a couple of things you can do when that happens. You can peel it off and start over. The scraping tool comes in super handy for peeling off glue that wrinkles. So I'm just going to make it sure it's totally cured and then I'm going to put another thin, thin coat on to get rid of the wrinkles. <laughs> yeah, it's Egyptian hairless. I love it. I may have been a little thick up there around the ear with my glue too. Sometimes I'm heavy handed. But to me, thicker has been my friend. A lot of people say go thin, but thin to me leaves bumps and, and you know, you can't smooth it out as well, I don't think. But, you know, I'm not the only voice out there. So. Okay, I'm going to... Do another layer of glue. And basically we're trying to fill in the wrinkles now. Ay, ay, ay. And I know it's silly, but you need to go through the whole thing. Otherwise you'll have edges from your glue. So do your whole kitty again. Just thinner this time. It's a lot of glue, so, I mean, if you can make it work.
kitty might have to live with the wrinkles but we're using a pretty forgiving foil I hope it has been in the past but it looks like tonight we're gonna have some boogers so we'll see what happens I'm not making any promises <laughs> warm up this rock a bit I don't recommend doing this. I'm just making it a little. All right, I'm gonna start way out here. Yeah, I have the bottle warmer. I just didn't plug it in tonight. I don't know. I feel like in the summer I shouldn't have to irritates me it's a hundred degrees outside oh my gosh with these things i'm sorry you guys i'm so sorry this is totally embarrassing i am so sorry mm -hmm. the ads that are popping up Okay, I'm coming closer with my light now. Thank you, Bex. I know it's not my fault, but man, they're ruthless tonight. I don't know how to stop that other than report them. And they change their ad whatever each time, so <clears throat> they got some crazy algorithm. We've been real lucky. It stinks that they got us bad tonight. Okay, now I'm going to get closer. And I'm actually going to bring in my big light. Oh my gosh, they're doing again. Huh. I can disable comments if you guys want. And then you could just listen to me. <laughs> whatever you guys do don't click on them <laughs> I mean unless you're into that thing because once you do it's a rabbit hole they never stop popping up <laughs> alright so I'm going to cut this foil maybe yeah, into two pieces and then I'm going to try to put it together in a way yeah, just like that, where it becomes one piece and there's no uh, seams, seamless, you know what I mean? And use a piece of tape down the middle. I didn't get it. You got to be quick with it. <laughs> Okay, try that again. There's static too, so it's kind of a... Where'd it go? There it is.
There we go. Now take your foil burnishing brush <laughs> and start working the foil in. Take a bit here. Let's see if I can do this tail. If I can find a, yeah, there it is. Yeah, if it's a pattern that you're working with, you just kind of puzzle them together and then tape them and make yourself a big sheet. I do have sheets of foil. There, There's not a lot with patterns, but um, I do have some big ones with some pretty interesting designs, but, but not, you know, full pattern. Looks like some of the glue is not cured. So I'm going to hit it with the light through. Through the foil. <laughs> we need to change that, Jen. I'm sorry. I totally keep forgetting. I don't know if it'll work with you in Canada, but we'll try it. Oops, well, at least it came off nicely, right? Woohoo. Super good transfer. All right, here goes nothing. So that part of the tail transferred nicely. Here we go. And we're not going to just rip it off. We're going to go slow because there's lots of bubbles under there. And we're going to need to lay it back down and fix that. So once you pull it up, lay it back down and rub the bubbles down. Had a little bit of a seam there I'm not liking, but yeah, it's not too bad. I'm using the hard side to see if I can get rid of that seam and yes it's working nice perfect look at that gorgeous transfer you could barely see that seam right there you can see it but it's not too bad all right so we will line this bad boy and then we will add some rhinestones use Posca <laughs> Oh, 
all. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Double smash the love button. There's also, I think if, uh, I think it's set up on, we were part of a um, trial with the super like button. I think it's super like and super tip. Um, but I think it's a permanent feature now of the, it should be on your, what is that, your bar down there where you chat, your chat bar. So if you touch that, it allows you to tip me. That is not a pressure. I'm just saying that it's part of the, it should be part of the permanent option now. Oh, super thanks, I think. Super thanks, super chat, super something. Uh, sorry, I don't, should know what it's called. Let me see where it's at on mine. Hang on. I got it on my TV up here. I'll pan around so you guys could see. Oh, of course it's not in my bedroom. <laughs> oh, I'm signed in as myself, so I can't even show you. Hmm. I think it's... I think it's uh, Super Thanks or Super Chat. That's what it's called. It should be when you hit... I don't know if you're on your TV or your phone or... But you um, bring up your menu and it's there. Okay. Lined. Now I'm going to do some rhinestones in the flowers. Should we do pearls or colors or regular AB? Uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> there is such a thing as glow-in-the-dark foil. We have... I'm sorry. <laughs> there is um, zigzag glow-in-the-dark and in the club, I believe, are the two that I have. <laughs> sorry, you guys. <laughs> Took me a minute to see it. I was digging for rhinestones. <laughs> uh, give me a second. I'll go grab it so you can see it.
you know, I just thought about what y'all are asking me, and I don't, it's not glow in the dark, it's, um, neon, so that's, I guess, different, I messed that up, but it glows in the black light, hang on, I need to turn off my lamp, hold on, turn on my black light, there, see, So that's the zigzag, and then this one is fun too. It's hard to see because I have my overhead light on, but anyways, those are those two fun ones. Okay. Last time I used it, I wanted to throw it. There it is. I get way out there. Yeah, it's still leaking. This is so much. It just leaches out the side and drips down. It's so weird. No matter what I do, this always comes out. But. Anyways, I'm going to put a little bit of that. Right here, just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to use these pretty ones right there. These. And these. And these gold ones. <laughs> I'm going to put a dab of this top coat in the middles of the flowers that I'm going to be Adding the rhinestones in. Sorry if I missed some stuff. <laughs> all of them okay and with the picker rhinestone picker tool Right. I come in with the yellowy winds.
I know. I'm starting to get fall. I have the Halloween foil in. And I'm working on getting the fall stickers and sequins and all that fun stuff. So keep your eyes peeled. Okay, and the purple and the pink. I've got two more colors. I'm loving this kitty. I don't know which one I like more, the galaxy or the rhinestone cowboy kitty. No. <laughs> Like a rhinestone kitty kitty. Ew, it's ugh. Yeah, it's in the hundred here and like eighty percent humidity. <laughs> Not taken away. Vegas with forty percent. You guys aren't used to that, so <laughs> that's pretty horrible. I actually dealt with Vegas heat uh, for about eight years. It um, it's awful, but it's real dry, so it's a lot easier than a high humidity. Usually, it's really dry. Forty percent humidity is a lot for Las Vegas. All right, I'm just straightening it out now, and then I will hit it with the light. You guys see any mess ups I need to fix? Oh, I see. Ninety eight percent. Wow. So it's just needs to rain already, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's cure this baby. Generally, I wouldn't do rhinestones, but on the top coat, like I would top coat it and then pop them in. But I don't want to deal with it tonight. The top coat. <laughs> And I don't want to do resin either. 
just yet. I'll be doing it. Thank you for whoever. Oh my gosh. I missed it. I must have happened when I was out getting the foil. Who did that? <laughs> I just noticed the super tip and I can't see it. Oh no. Let me see if I can scroll back. Thank you. I don't know. Where did it go? I got stuck on the glow foil. <laughs> super sticker and super chat. That's what it is. Okay, who did it? It's not showing me. I guess once you miss the big, it usually puts up a big emoji when you buy them. Who did it? <laughs> tell me so I can tell you thank you. Those are all locked in. Oh my gosh. Come here, finger. Let me see. Oh, it won't say. You guys still there? Uh-oh. I think it kicked me off. <laughs> 